I'll give you a little bit more detail about Greece's new finance minister. As Kate pointed out, Yanis Varoufakis is out. The new man in the hot seat is Euclid Zakalotis. He is known as the brainchild of the economic thinking behind the Syriza party, and he is seen as one of the more moderate figures in the radical left-wing government. Sakalotis has also served as deputy foreign minister. The Oxford University educated economist was drafted to lead talks with creditors in May. Varoufakis' controversial negotiating style reportedly distracted negotiations, but his sudden departure surprised many Greece watchers, including some creditors in Europe. CCTV's Roy Ruttenberg has more on that story. <laughs> Love him or hate him, it was hard to ignore Yanis Varoufakis. His casual dress and casual transport made him seem more like a rock star than a finance minister. And his combative nature was a force to be reckoned with. A self-described erratic Marxist, he accused Greece's creditors of, quote, terrorism. He lobbied hard for Sunday's no vote and hailed its success a victory. Barufakis has always opposed European-backed austerity. In the past, he argued Greek debt should be canceled and Europe's wealth redistributed. In this special report in 2012 for Britain's Channel 4 News, Varoufakis presented his vision. We can end this crisis in three steps. First, we need to unify Europe's banking sector and recapitalize its banks forcefully. Secondly, centralize a large part of the Eurozone's public debt via the European Central Bank. And thirdly, use the European Investment Bank to shift idle savings into productive investments in the countries that need it the most. Both inside Greece and abroad, Varoufakis was often seen as an obstacle to negotiations with Brussels and Berlin. A renowned economist by trade, he had little political experience. He frequently clashed with Eurozone finance ministers who wanted him gone. He had to resign because he bit off more than he can chew. He made promises that couldn't be kept. He gave the people assurances which didn't exist, which weren't his to decide. And now he has to face the consequences. On the streets of Athens, reaction to Varoufakis' resignation was mixed. The finance minister would have been sacked either way. They are all acting. Nobody cares about the Greek people. I don't agree with his resignation. He did it to help the government, but he was the best thing for Greece. Varoufakis now leaves as Greece's sacrificial lamb, his departure in a sense paving the way for the resumption of talks. Supporters of Varoufakis say one of the reasons Europe's creditors loathed him was because he spoke their language. He knew their tricks and wasn't afraid to call their bluff. But even they know at some point the rock star must leave the stage. Rui Ruttenberg, CCTV in Washington.